Here's meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. 617 on our Thursday, of course, talk of the town yesterday. Still talk of the town today because I am still talking about it. Where the storms that rolled through in such dramatic fashion yesterday, late afternoon. We did see lightning, most of it intra cloud or cloud to cloud lightning, not the lightning that comes straight down to the ground. Looks almost vertical or horizontal, I should say. And you can see a great picture here from Aaron Westfall as well. The purple clouds, see the lightning just above the trees um, within that same cloud. And of course, the big story for everyone was this dramatic cloud for formation that rolled through. We're actually seeing two different cloud formations in this picture from Jeff, a shelf cloud and a wall cloud. That's what we're seeing here as well. Just some beautiful photos from everyone out there. Thank you so much. This is from Gina Middleton for sharing that. I thought we'd touch on briefly the difference between a shelf cloud and a wall cloud because they are different, but it's easy to confuse the two, especially because the term seems so interchangeable. So shelf clouds are typically associated with a solid line of storms. The wind will come out first from a shelf cloud followed by rain. That's exactly what we saw last night. Wall clouds tend to be smaller, more compact. They maybe look like they're emerging or hanging from the base of a bigger cloud. Those are the ones we watch real closely because they can rotate on a vertical axis, which can eventually form a funnel cloud, which can eventually form a tornado, right? So here's a picture of a wall cloud down here on the base. This is that wall cloud almost looks like a wall uh, kind of straight descending from the bottom of that cloud. Look at this great picture from yesterday. This was in the Treasure Valley taken by Bandy. Here's that amazing shelf cloud really dramatic underneath it. We are seeing those wall clouds there and again shelf clouds tend to spin on the horizontal and wall clouds on the vertical. That's why we watch them so closely. So that is the difference. Wall clouds are smaller, more compact. Those shelf clouds are those big dramatic. They look like, look like they're just rolling in in a big wave, right? Great photos. Thank you everybody for sharing that. Now the cold front that came through and helped trigger those storms last night has left us with a colder morning. Don't worry, these are not our actual air temperatures. This is how much colder we are compared to 24 hours ago. We're in the low 40s in Ontario and Boise, but in the 30s now in Mountain Home and Twin Falls, still seeing a few light scattered snow showers, even a couple of sprinkles over in the Magic Valley. We may have a few showers in portions of the Treasure Valley very early this morning as we still have some low pressure or dip in the jet stream, a trough as we call it, that's coming through. So by this afternoon, sunshine will emerge. But before that's all said and done with, we could have another inch or two on the ground for places like Cascade. Bogus Basin may pick up half an inch. Not a whole lot of snow coming in, but still don't be surprised if you're in the mountains today by those snowflakes coming down. We're not quite out of the woods yet as far as precipitation goes, but by this afternoon we will be. But we then we have a much cooler afternoon. So enjoy the sunshine, but make sure you have the jacket. Only 46 in Boise today, mid to upper 40s for the west end of the valley. Snow showers in the mountains, upper 30s for Idaho City and Garden Valley. McCall area highs will hover only around the freezing mark. Magic Valley, you'll see mid 40s today as well with a brisk breeze popping up even as that sunshine emerges later. For the weekend, we see temperatures dipping down to only 40 on Saturday. A chilly start to the weekend, up to 44 on Sunday. Then we see another round, a quick round of unsettled weather coming in early next week with highs only in the 40s through Wednesday.